Hey, good morning. It's Mike Schenke with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shifton Properties in Scottsdale. Uh, we're heading to Paradise Valley for a meeting now. Um, so I just want to check in real quick. Uh, kind of cool. The angels shining on me there. Um, anyway, what's, uh, what's the real estate market doing in Arizona, the Phoenix area? Multiple listing service. We have 9,446 active detached single family homes. So that's up a little bit. Uh, Maricopa County, we have 6,640 active detached single family homes. That's up about 50. And in Scottsdale, we got six more this week. That's two weeks in a row we've had an increase. Uh, so 885 single family detached homes for sale in Scottsdale. Not enough still, but uh, you know, I feel like we're kind of been grinding through this market here and I feel like we're turning the corner. Every morning I do a hot sheet, a four mile radius of where I live over by Desert Mountain High School and there were 15 new listings this morning. Actually, uh, we'll try and get one uh, in the one this weekend. There's 5.7 million. It's called uh, the Castle of Ancala Country Club. It's super cool house. It's 11,000 square feet. So, uh, and it's priced, it's 5.7 million, but it's under $500 a square foot, but uh, super cool. So uh, we'll try and get in that sooner than later. Prices, home prices. We are about back to the same as August of 2022. You know, we had May of 2022 was the high, and then we uh, came down about 10, 12, 15% in general. You know, real estate is hyper local. So it, even down to each neighborhood, you know, has its own market. Um, but uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> left here, going left on Scottsdale Road here. So uh, the prices, they're back to August and you know, they're, they're firm. It's just not, again, it gets down to supply and demand. 76% of purchases last month were owner occupied. Uh, that's pretty good. That's high. Uh, the last year or two, it averaged about 60%. You know, this area, Phoenix area in general, has a lot of investment uh, money coming in. A lot of their purchases were investment, and they, everybody wanted to make their million dollars on the short-term rentals. We're starting to see those come on the market. Uh, so we're 76% of buyers are owner-occupied. That's That shows that some firmness in the market. Um, and 57% of the active listings have owned the property more than three years. So there's a ton of equity out there. We're not, uh, we're not having any repeat of 2008. Prices are firm. People are still calling, looking for houses. Um, so, you know, Tina Tambor of the Cromford Report said something the other day. You know, we're kind of getting used to the 7%. Six, again. It's not just the rate. What is the cost of your mortgage? But mortgage, 30-year fixed mortgage is about 7%. And interesting, the jumbo mortgages and the 30-year fixed are even again. So she, uh, she had a good point. You know, uh, rent versus buy. Uh, average rent in New York City, uh, $5,600 a month. Wow, that's, that's about a mortgage on a million-dollar property. Uh, so, you know, people want to rent and wait for prices to come down. They forget you get a tax write-off for your um, for the interest deduction on when you purchase a property. So rates are a little bit higher. You're going to get a pretty significant tax deduction uh, on your income taxes if you buy. So think about that. You know, when you were right paying three percent, two percent interest, you weren't writing off a whole lot. You weren't getting a big deduction. Now, if you're paying six, seven percent, you're getting a significant deduction on your taxes so every every deal is uh thank you every deal is different every situation is different so uh you know mortgages we're well into the seven percent now it's it's pretty solid but people are getting used to it people are getting comfortable with it uh cpi came out yesterday it was a little lighter and you heard everybody a lot of economists say we're heading for a soft landing CPI is not a great number. CPI is uh, urban. It's funny. You know how they get the rent number, the housing number for CPI? They ask people what they think their house would rent for. That's horrible because everybody thinks their house is worth a million dollars. Some are, some are. You know. 
but uh, CPI is not a very good number. PPI came out this morning and showed that, uh, you know, and, and it was a little hot, so we still have some work to do. Interesting in the bond market, the long bond, the third 10 year or 30 year, the more stables, they're starting to, uh, you know, gain some traction. Rates are, rates are up, but uh, Art Cashin was just on CNBC. He's a very well respected investor. Um, and he said, he's talking about, you know, we've got a lot of debt in the US government. It's ridiculous. But the US Treasury has to keep issuing new bonds to pay their bills. As the Treasury issues bonds, that's back to supply and demand again. And that shoot pushes rates up. So, a, you know, nobody can predict what bonds are going to do. It's funny, actually, CPI came out yesterday. It was a good number, but the bond market still shot up because, you know, the professionals know that uh, the government's got to issue more debt, and that affects bond prices. So, I think rates are pretty firm. It's funny, we had a, uh, I had a meeting the other day on a commercial property. Uh, listing broker, my client, me and uh, a banker. Three of us are over 50 years old and uh, all we're talking about, you know, these rates are here to stay if not increase. The banker was probably, I don't know, a lot younger than us and she was saying she doesn't understand, you know, about the cycles. Rates are high now, which they're not bad historically. But she was saying, well, they got to come down in the future. And all three of us kind of looked at each other and we remember the 80s. We remember, you know, the high interest rates. And it's really, I think rates are here to stay. And I think buyers are understanding that. Um, so I feel like we're turning a corner as the investment properties come to market. Uh, there's going to be more supply out there. And as buyers get more comfortable, I think... Uh, you know, we're going to start seeing more transaction and uptick here heading into the fall. You know, people, the kids are settled in school. All right. Um, Phoenix area commercial. I read the other day there's 15, 15 or 16 major companies moving to the Phoenix area. You know, wouldn't the companies come? They're spending billions of dollars. And uh, Arizona, the Phoenix area is generally a young city. It's uh, compared, when you compare it to the New Yorks, the... San Francisco, the LA, Dallas. Phoenix is a young city. So we've still got a lot of growth. And, um, what was his name? David O'Reilly of Hughes Corporation. They've got big money. They're, uh, he was talking about, you know, they tend to build, they're building a new, basically a new city outside of Buckeye. They built Summerlin outside of Nevada, and he's building some kind of places outside of Manhattan. And there's just not, he was saying, there's just not enough housing roofs over people's head. It's a necessity. And uh, here we are on Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Drive again, so don't speed. It's a lot of cameras. And the signs are there, so but just don't speed through Paradise Valley. But, uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, there's just not enough houses out there. And um, Things are moving. Things are starting to move. Commercial, we uh, are spending some time in Mesa, Gilbert area, looking for a dental practice, if anybody's got that coming up. And, uh, you know, still working on some Deer Valley Industrials, a couple a couple deals up there. So, uh, land is tight. Um, it's interesting. It's, you know, we're just kind of rolling along. But I, I really feel like we're still, overall economy, I'm not so sure of. But you need a place to live and you need a place to operate your business so if we can help you buy or sell anything we're almost uh where we're going here we're, and um so we'll check in later if we uh come across anything interesting if we can help you buy or sell give us a call if you have a question never hurts to pick up the phone and uh like i said every deal is different so let's have a conversation so uh, hope you're all well have a great day be smart be safe and we'll talk to you soon Thanks for watching. We appreciate it.